Hi everybody, I hope you're having a great day. In this video, I'm going to be covering Pantha. She made her first appearance in New Titans, Volume 1, Issue Number 73, that was released in February of 1991. Her real name is Rosabelle Mendez, also going by the code name X24, and she's a feral metahuman that stands 5 feet 8 inches tall and weighs 125 pounds also having red eyes and auburn hair. Now, due to genetic experimentation by the Wildebeest Society, Rosabelle would end up as a werecat type of being, having low-level superhuman strength with moderate superhuman speed, reflexes, and agility, as well as retractable claws and fangs. She also notably has a moderate healing factor to complement all of her other Wolverine-like feral traits. Now, at some point in the past, she was taken by the insidious Wildebeest Society, becoming part of their program to create metahuman soldiers. She would eventually escape, but she would permanently be transformed into a ferocious, were-like creature with no memory of her past. I mean, she literally didn't even know if she was a human woman or a female panther before she was genetically tampered with. And unfortunately, she would never figure out her true origins. Now, going by the name Panther, she would find refuge with the Teen Titans, becoming a powerful, if not outspoken, asset to their team. However, she would regularly antagonize her teammates, particularly Starfire and Flamebird, although she and her fellow Titan named Red Star would form a bit of a bond. But make no mistake, if no villains were available, she was always more than happy to fight with her teammates. Panther would also go on to begrudgingly start taking care of another one of Wildebeest's genetic experiments, a super strong toddler named Baby Wildebeest, with her gradually evolving into a surrogate mother type of relationship with the toddler. After various adventures, she would eventually retire from the superhero scene, but would end up returning to the Titans during the Crisis on Infinite Earths. Here, she would die at the hands of a rampaging and powerful Superboy Prime. Nevertheless, that wouldn't be the last time that we'd see Panther, because we would eventually see her be resurrected as a Black Lantern in the Blackest Night event. Now, for her powers and abilities, and her influence on the DC Universe, for my 1 to 10 rating, I'll give Panther a rating of 5, which is an enigmatic rating. I hope everyone enjoyed this video. I'll talk to you next time. Be sure to like, subscribe, and join the new Sage.